Okay, I have a little a situation on my hands and um, I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of it and figure out what's going on. This, nah. Florida, which happens to be very beautiful, by the way. Um, great hotel. I was here for a women's conference this weekend, and it was amazing. Everything about it, no detail left unthought of, if that's how you can say that. Um, met so many beautiful women, just inside and out. Um, so I'm still on the high from that, and I'm going home tonight but needed to get something to, I'm working, so I need to get something to eat. I'm in the hotel, I order Uber Eats. And I love the fact that there's all these like full meat, vegan options, uh, plant-based options, <laughs> but it's kind of getting out of control in the sense of the full meat is so close, so near, and so identical, like so similar to what actual meat looks and tastes like, like I can't even tell the difference now. And so I've had some situations in the past and I think this might be one of them like popping back up again. Um, I ordered from this place called Jerk. I got the vegan, vegan chicken and jerk chicken and the sauce was good because I got the quinoa, jerk quinoa. Never heard of that? Very good. Jerk quinoa as a side and some plantain, pineapple plantain, very, very good. But I can't eat this chicken because <laughs> I'm not sure if they made a mistake and put real chicken in the dish or if this, if this vegan chicken is so well put together, so well processed that it looks like chicken. And I've torn it apart to see like if it had the little to tofu texture in there. Uh, uh, <laughs> I played around with it a little bit, <laughs> but I can't eat it. I cannot bite into this uh, because it looks too much like chicken. And not I I'm not <laughs> sure about this at all this nah I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play around with this it looks like chicken and even when you like tear it apart see it's fleshy I have no idea what this is. And this to me actually. Oh God. That that oh I mean and it's nothing like if you if you eat chicken then yeah this is good for you but I just happen to not eat it and and so it poses a problem for me. And I'm just so unsure. I have no way to tell right now. I need to figure out like how to test this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to just take an Uber over to this place. Because you can't really contact anybody through Uber Eats. They don't care. I mean, they're going to give you, they'll give you your money back. But it takes like a lot of paperwork and typing and like pressing through buttons on the app um, to get a resolution and I, don't, I really don't I really don't have time for that and I need to prepare to get on a flight I'm gonna take an uber back over to the restaurant and I'm just gonna ask them like hey did y'all mess up and give me real chicken or is this how good it's gotten for the vegan options 
And um, yeah, that's the solution to the situation. So um, here I go. I'm gonna call the Uber and go back over to the jerk chicken place because I need to know. I mean, I need to know if this was a mistake or if the plant-based food options are just now on another level. Okay, so uh, the Uber's on the way and I am waiting here. I'm going to head to this jerk jerk place. It, it's, here's the thing, it's not a vegan, it's not a full vegan plant-based restaurant, so that's number one. Um, and if you are traveling while plant-based, that's the thing to keep in mind. Is the risk is yours if you choose to dine at a place that is not fully plant-based. There could be some cross-contamination going on, um, or there could be mistakes. Which I'm not sure if there's a mistake that has happened. I hope to be proven wrong in this situation, but I can't let this go. Like, I have to go to this restaurant. Even though this was originally an Uber Eats order, um, I have to go to this restaurant and just ask them like, hey, have you, has the faux meat game just been upgraded to the point where you can't even tell whether it's, um, you can't even tell what it is and it's, it's too close to me and I'm not able to, I, I can't take a chance. So I'm just waiting on the Uber and I'm, it seems a little ridiculous, but I'm going to go back and ask them if they made a mistake with my order or if the vegan chicken um is just that close there it is in the bag oh it's in the bag come with me oh i hope i bought the receipt let me see yes see this it says vegan patty which was missing um so that's a whole nother story and then vegan jerk chicken bowl but i'm not really sure about that and i'm gonna go find out yes there's a place called jerk j-r-k like jerk what is it so that hmm jerk <laughs> Yes, it says real food done better. Oh, somewhere called Motec. Let me, let me ask the guy here, the motherfucker, they put this himself in there. Oh, because okay. Because the, the area they drop from is here, okay? Okay. Motec Mediterranean, that looks good. <laughs> Sorry. All information. Jerk over here, restaurant. Jerk. Jerk. Food court. Upstairs. Upstairs. Let's yes. go. Yeah. Oh. Where's the entrance? Over here? Yeah, yeah over here. Okay. 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 So, Place is in the um, in the mall. It's in the food court. Jerk. 
is in the food court inside the mall. So let's go in and see what's up with this chicken. And this is so cute. What a nice mall entrance. I can't believe I'm coming all the way back just to make sure this is not real chicken, but I think it's important. And you know, I wouldn't have gotten a chance to see the mall, so it's not all bad. So I gotta find a food court in here. There's something up there. I wonder if that's it. Small is huge. Okay, this is in the treats food hall. Treats food hall. vegan chicken and then let me see your regular chicken and I just want to compare the two and then I want to show you what you gave me um, as a result. <laughs> I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because if I'm wrong that means like that plant-based food, faux meat, vegan um, options, the faux meat industry is like on a whole nother level now. Um, the uh, plantain. Which one is the vegan chicken? Oh, is that one? Okay. Uh, okay. And I, I had an Uber Eats order, but they didn't put the vegan patty in there. Um, so I do want to order a bowl, but I want to get the, do you have the quinoa? So I want to do the quinoa. Uh, Okay, so you know how when you accuse somebody of something and then you find out you're wrong? <laughs> what is that called? Egg on your face? <laughs> well, since I was so worried about this um, meat being chicken, and it's not, I will say something other than egg. I don't know what to say though. This is real vegan food. This is plant-based. This is plant-based. I put the name in the in the video. Oh my god. Now I, now I'm going to taste it. Now I'm going to taste it. And um Yeah, I didn't confront them. I just went and looked and asked them which of those dishes were the actual vegan chicken. So, I'm glad it is. But man, it's so hard to tell. So, um I'm about to eat the chicken that I didn't before because I only ate half the meal, but I also have one to go because my flight's not till later. And now I have dinner. And I don't mind that I took an Uber, a Uber over here to the mall to find out because I, um, I got my, um, I did get my beef patty, my vegan patty. That was missing. It's not a vegan. It's not a uh, beef patty. I did get my my vegan patty that was missing. So I got that. 
I don't mind that I took a Uber all the way over here because I did get my vegan patty that was missing. So I can snack on that too on the plane. Wow. <laughs> I'm feeling a little like, um, all right, I was wrong. I'll take the L. Okay, and apparently this is uh, soy. I thought it was maybe like a seitan or a tempa. Tempeh, uh, but it is soy, <laughs> and I am a little bit in disbelief, but I'm gonna go with it because clearly <laughs> the plant-based food market has stepped their game up. Oh well, and there you have it. I don't have egg on my face. I have aquafaba on my face. If you don't know what that is, that's um, canned chickpea juice. And it's used as an egg replacement. So I had to take some time to think about that because I was definitely wrong. <laughs> it was not chicken. They did not make a mistake. The Uber Eats gave me the correct order. Um, the plant-based food industry has just stepped this game up so much so to the point where Soy protein can be made in a way that is indistinguishable from animal protein. And I just like went through the full circle experience of it because I was, I wasn't mad. I mean, I've gotten mad before when I've bitten in a chicken like unintentionally, but I, I, or when I've been served meat and I specifically asked for plant-based. I've been mad before, but I wasn't mad this time. I was like, <laughs> Let me just go see what's really going on. So I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy about it, but also like a little embarrassed. Um, hey, all right. Shout out to Daring Foods. Y'all are on top of it. And the jerk was delicious. If you are in, I guess this is Hollywood, Florida. Go to the Aventura Mall and find jerk which is JRK and get you a bowl of something because all of it apparently even the soy base uh, chicken bones are so good remember those ep uh, episodes uh, from cops where they would like recap the whole show after they would um, after they would catch catch the people or they had like this standoff or run in or something and it was a lot of drama and then finally everything would would settle down and um you know they would arrest the people and take them to jail or solve the domestic dispute or whatever and then they would like recap it that so was so fake um but yeah i just kind of feel like that right now like okay we solved the issue it wasn't it wasn't real chicken it was actually soy based protein um, and next time we just got to be on the lookout for stuff like that. I mean, the more you know, right? And hopefully uh, next time we can avoid a situation of catching an Uber all the way to the mall um, in Hollywood, Florida. But anyway, I'm glad I know about this mall now. And man, this, this jerk is so good. All right, jerk. Eat jerk. When are y'all coming to Texas? Ha, ha, ha.